Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we are now going to do a review of this Alaska McKinley Explorer. These are the, um, the F9s that Bachman did uh, a while back. And uh, I have shown you in a previous video the SD40 Alaska with the McKinley Explorer cars. This one's a little bit different. Uh, it comes with a oval track, about 34 inches by 24 inches. Uh, it does come with a transformer and the easy track system for your track. Uh, we are not going to put that together because we already have the easy track system here uh, on the layout right now. So let's go ahead and open this up and pull out the contents and place this locomotive that looks really awesome on the track. So bear with me here. I'm going to try to open this plastic here. Okay. Flap. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Let's flip this around so that stuff doesn't jump out the wrong way. All right, look at that. Nice. Place this box down there. Oh, let's show you the box again. That's the box. Show you the box this way. There's the box here. Okay. Another view of it over here while the F3 Cox Army train is going by. Um, okay, let's see here. Let's go back to this view here. So all we're going to do is we're just going to pull out the passenger cars and the two locomotives. You can see here we've got some curved. Uh, track and then we have some straight track uh, creating that oval. Let's see if you can see it here. So, yeah, there you go. Curve track, straight track, power supply, and power pack. Three McKinley passenger cars, two F9 Alaska locomotives. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, okay. okay, all right. Carefully pulling out. This is the dummy right here. That's the dummy. Here's the real deal. And I kind of like these because these are the black gear. I'll show you right now. Here. Let's see. Right here. These are the black gear locomotives from Bachman. These are much better quality than the white gear locomotives. They're more reliable, they're more durable. And uh, overall, a much better set. Again, we have the uh, Rapido couplers that you can replace if you wanted to change them out for those easy mates or whatever they're called. And something called something like that. But I'm going to set this over here. And... 
start putting this together. All right, let's see. Let me put that there like so. I'm gonna reverse this one like so. Now that went on there nicely. Except I gotta, I gotta connect these like. Okay. There's that. Passenger car number one. And number two. And those connected pretty easily. Passenger car number three. Oh man, big hit. That was uh, no issues there. Now we just got to connect it here. And of course, it's going to give me a hard time, of course. Why wouldn't it? There it is there. And all I gotta do is set it there. Put these wheels up there. I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready. Let's see. Uh oh. There it goes. Whew. I got a little worried there. It did not want to fire up. Like we lost uh, somebody in the back. Not a problem. Not a problem. This is up like so. Fire it up. And this one here. It's pulling quite a bit. What I should do is see if I'm really on those. If I'm really on that track. See, look, there it goes again. Okay. What's the issue here? The issue is the coupler is higher than the other, or there's a rise here somewhere. And that's causing it to uncouple. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move. I'm going to move them around a little bit and see if that fixes the issue. If it does, then we're good. Okay. Let's try that. It looks okay, I think. Losing two of them. All right. Let's see what we have here. So let's flip this one this way. this one this way. Alright, 
right, let's try this again. Let's try it again. Hopefully, we'll stick together. Okay, so we have. So let's take a look at this coupler here. And it looks okay. So I'm just going to flip this one around a little bit. Let me see what I can do with this. See how the incline is? I got, I got an incline. I have an incline. So, what I might do what I might do is Here's what I'm going to do to fix that incline. I am going to stick a little piece of foam underneath here to kind of level it out. And let's see what happens. That might be the issue. Okay, I think that was it. I think that incline wasn't really working out for these guys. But it looks like I'm going to. I'm going to turn off the F3 for a little bit, just to see how, just to hear this guy. Whew. He was a noisy one. We're going to have to lubricate this because this here is like from the 80s. And this is its first run. And it sounds like it could use some help. With some lubrication. Well, it goes into a turn. I mean, it's consistent. Definitely consistent. Here we are at 40. And it's a noisy little booger. Yeah, let's listen to them. Okay, I'm not going to run this any more than I have to. But as you can see, folks, let's see, what's the slowest I can bring this down to? Here's 30. 30%. It stopped at 30. 
starts up at around 50. And of course, when it goes back and forth like that, you're going to have the couplers kind of wiggle around. So you got to keep it at a consistent speed. That's 55 right there. See if it hits that turn. Yeah, let's see. How about reverse? Well, is it warm? The answer is no. It's not even warm at all. It's just noisy as heck. Do the gears look stripped? Nope. They look a little dry, but they're not stripped. They're tight. Yeah, they're tight on both ends. Well, we'll just have to lubricate it. We'll lubricate it, and hopefully that'll do the trick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Put it on there. And get it running again. Let's see here. Yeah. So we've got some coupler issues. These are not the best couplers in the world. Um, they need to be worked on. I can see one's higher than one's higher than the other. So in the curves or whatever, it's gonna it's gonna want to uncouple. But overall, I'm I'm really I am happy with it. Um, and I'm I'm happy I bought a sealed box. And uh, And I've always liked these Alaska locomotives. So, okay. Well, I'm going to, I'll work on this uh, at some point. Um, but I'm just glad that we got this thing on the track today. And uh, here, I'll get, show you guys some close-ups of the, uh, there you go. Look at that. Really nice F9. Um. Alaska locomotive. It's got the black gears underneath. So we'll lubricate it. There's a few, few gears there. We'll lubricate it. Hopefully it'll be a little bit quieter. And of course, this is the dummy. See what's down there? Yeah. Looking good. F9. Okay. All right. Well, let's see here. Let me go to this here. Thanks for tuning in on this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let your friends know. And uh, we will check you out on the next video. All right. Bye for now.